Welcome to the education of Spencer Harris as we present Spencer with the joy that is role playing. Literally frightened me there. What you just <laughs> yeah, did. thanks for that level. That yeah. was that was right. Great for the <laughs> Sorry, <audience>. listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. I am the GM here. So <laughs> all right, that's fair. All retribution is incoming. Uh, so uh, we are going to present Spencer with the magic that is fantasy role playing. Let's roll. And uh, he has done character creation in a previous episode. Uh, but we just wanted to lay down to you what what his basic character concept is. So introduce me to your character, Spencer. This is the lazy ass knight. <laughs> Major goals to what to, class is he? He's a magic user. Wearing, so not a knight at all. Wearing full plate armor. Whoa, that that knight is a social title. <laughs> Thank, you. All right, all right. Thank you. Uh huh. Anything else racist, Caleb? Uh, okay, or are you yes. good? Actually, no. he's yeah. technically classist. Right. <laughs> that. Uh, major goals, uh, adventuring goals to drop the lazy title and just be known as Ast Knight, which is by implication like actively Ast Knight. Yes. Or full Ast. Full Ast, maybe. Yeah. Yep. Uh, he appears to be really good at daring based on my attributes. And I am wearing a bitchin' set of plates with spikes. Nice. nice. So shit's about good to for real. a magic user. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> Producer Ross, how are you aiding this uh, Nadsit adventurer in his early days? Uh, yes, uh, I am producer elf name. Uh, I transferred from goblin into elf because those are classes, and uh, I misunderstood the form. And where it said elf name, I thought they just meant to copy it. Uh, what is your elf name? And I just put elf name. And so I am producer. And producer is producer elf name. Yeah, producer elf name. So. Yeah. Um, I am an elf and I do elf things because uh, I'm really enthusiastic about it um, <laughs> and I'm pretty committed I got a really high commitment and I'm very aware of things I'm a minus one to commitment so yeah. none I'm, of this is all that <laughs> he's permanent not, to me it's yeah. not terribly <laughs> what I'm saying is at some point I will cut bait on your ass I am I have an 18 awareness so I am my really goodness. aware of you my doing that hyper aware yeah Jesus uh, it's my elf senses uh, I also have an, an inherent ability, Veil Touch, which I assume has something to do with my ability to play with cloth one would wear over a face. <laughs> I want to say yes, that's exactly it. Don't cloth look, physics. Go with that. Don't look up what it does. No, not going to uh, Google that. So we are going to be playing an old school hack, and actually a hacked version of old school hack, which is a hack of the red box hack, old school which is hack a hack square. of second edition D&D. So hack mm -hmm. um and then suddenly you are in the land of Cezanne, oh God. <laughs> uh a fantasy kingdom in which you have learned to overcome the boy named sue nature of your name as lazy ass knight uh your parents really wanted you to get out and do some goddamn adventuring quick to overcome this sort of impediment they gave you they have given you a noble servants though and producer elf name who is there on an internship Yep. Uh, and you have gone to the city of Burecrestrix to find your uh, fortune in the world of questing and adventure. Uh, so you enter. It's a marvelous city of cobblestones and half-erected buildings mm -hmm. and monuments that aren't quite finished yet because funding has dried up. Oh. Uh, and they're in a series of land disputes and forms to be filled out. Like Vegas uh, circa 1960. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> um, and it's uh, there, there are many elves and gnomes and goblins and various people of uh, various races slash really castes because this... This whole culture is conf right. confused, yeah. apparently, about wow. what race means. Um, and not unlike our own. Um, and then you find a group of street bandits majoring in banditry. Mm -hmm. You can tell from their, you know, dark, forbidding clothing and many, many daggers. <laughs> they go to community college. Uh, hustling, hassling a poor goblin in a uh, in an alleyway. He's, he's help, help, help. Wow. All right. Help. Hey, should hey. we help them? I we, mean, we should absolutely help him. Okay. Oh, or her. We don't know. Mm, we don't yeah. know. Do we know much about this goblin? I don't want to make assumptions, but yeah. I heard their voice. Okay. Yep. I, I I used to be a goblin. I that that's that's kind of making a lot of assumptions, you know. Um <laughs> but either way, we should help them. Right. Regardless of what they're doing. Help. Okay, so yeah. please I, what get I would like to do. Your... Yeah. And I, what, <laughs> I'm just guessing things here. I'm assuming that we're in front of the alley such that I could just turn and shoot. At yes. those people? Yes, you could do that. And given that I'm a magic user who's wearing full plates in case they yeah. shoot back, 
I'm going to shoot. It's, it's what are you going to shoot at them? them? Indiscriminately shoot at them. Are you going to shoot like just a, a pew out of your yeah. weapon? Yeah, which would be a, a ranged thing? Yeah. Or do you, are you going to puppet string them? No, I have a staff. No, I'm not going to puppet string them yet. I don't. Are wanna... there any forest animals about? Uh, rats are in the forest sometimes. Yeah. Are, are there rats? Yeah, there are many rats. Well, it's, it's, it's Bureaucratrix. Right. Okay. It's a city of rats. Oh. Okay. That have filled out their Well, forms. I didn't know I that. immediately talked to the rat. Right. <laughs> Because you have that ability? I do have that ability. Do you really? Take, yeah, I do. Well, I, I, <laughs> all right, not, a rat goes by. What do you say to sounds it? Sounds like a robust uh, Hello, friend rat. Do you know much about these bandits? What? Hey, what? Yeah, the bandits over there. Do they have cheese? They might have cheese. Why can you talk to rats? I'm an elf. I took a class on it. Well, yeah. All right. Um, I mean... You should check that out. I think they have cheese in their pockets, and they said that they oh, have cheese. Oh, certainly cheese. Mm, that's what well, I heard. You're all the way over here. I'm, I am a rat, though. Like, yeah. I mean, that's kind of what we're known for is the ability to smell. Well, they're cheese, cheese. smugglers. Man. Cheese smug. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah. What can we do about that? Uh, you should take them out for the benefits of law and order. I, I've offered to shoot them. Yeah, you, you shoot the them, and he should, uh, you hold them down, and then he'll shoot okay, them. Okay, I'm going to say rat conversation is a focus action. Yeah. Because, you know, it seems reasonable. You, gotta, you, know, you need to engage and be an active listener to the rat. Uh, mm-hmm. I will say that the evil fighters are going to attack a defenseless goblin. One's a dwarf. But he's still a bandit. He's Man. majoring in bandit. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna shoot. Well, you're you're gonna shoot magic missiles at the, put it on there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh you're shooting. Uh roll two D ten against their armor class. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. Ten. Damn. That you one of them is just zapped. Just absolutely. Just zapped fucking into crushed. just nothing. Get off my rat. Yeah, mm-hmm. get get off your rat. Mm-hmm. Uh that's that's rough. Uh focusing, they're not attacking you, that they're in the finale. Uh thankfully for that. Yeah. Uh the dwarf is going to attack Goblin. <whistles> oh, let's see if he does it. Let's see how he does. God. Can he beat the goblin's armor class? I tried real hard. Well, you, you took out one of them. I, did. I feel like they should have turned around and looked at you. It's a one. nine. He's wearing light armor. You're lucky. Doesn't beat his armor class. Uh, so the rat's like, oh shit, cheese smugglers. Yeah. We gotta get, I mean, we get a cut. Yeah, of course. Of whatever happens, right? I'm just a good citizen. You can take all of the cheese. Oh, wow. Okay. What do you want us to do? Uh, just, just distract them so that we can shoot. My friend here can shoot them. Seems reasonable. Like, you know, get in their face, you know, squeak at them. Uh, if they Maybe have like a shoelaces, nice dancing number. go to town on them, you know, any kind of laces. Oh, you're their... thinking more tactical. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Just just harass them. Right. Okay. So all harass the rats them. sort of surround them. Yeah. The the one remaining bandit. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Who's just seen his friend be electrocuted by a magical hellfire. Dissipated. Yeah. Um, and rather than like sicking on that man or jumping on him, they just sort of like start squeaking at him in no, a they, circle. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a show. They yeah. do like, yeah, like a, yeah. They actually have like a pretty well choreographed like Buster Keaton routine. Indeed. <laughs> one of the rats falls off of a box and the other rats pretend to catch him. It's sort of existentially terrifying to the dwarf. Because he doesn't know how to factor any of this in. It's just completely alien. What it is, him. it's their way of showing him that they don't give a fuck about living. Well, he, he's dropped his knife, and he's now backed into a corner of the alley. He's right. now shivering and covering his eyes. Yep, yep. Uh, so, yes, you've succeeded like great heroes. Yes. <laughs> uh, by intimidating a man with rats and incinerating the other I, one. I, no, you know what? I, I don't want to go for broke here, but I want to shoot that guy, too. <laughs> Because I don't want him to do this to anyone else. What happens if we and the rats are not? I feel again? death is a good like if you're if we're talking about punishment versus rehabilitation. I think death can rehabilitate people into being confident. All right, uh, you're gonna have to roll for that. I'm also trying to let people know that I'm not lazy. Yeah, and so I feel like you're the lazy emphatic thing, about bandit. Right, you're rat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna roll again. All right, yeah. I'm gonna shoot. Not nine. That that got him because he's stripping off his clothes because he fears there's oh, rats inside them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so no more light armor. He's also down. Man, congrats, heroic. God, I approach the goblin. That's the end of uh, the game, right? Like no. it's over. You won, <laughs> and that's where it, that, right. that was the education. Whole, that's Harris. what RPGs are. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I see why you guys are into them. <laughs> Killing things you don't need to kill, though, is you've you've passed a Rubicon. Yeah, that right. is very much a first. 
Yeah. Good job. Right. Yeah. To be clear, I'm going to shoot everything. Yeah. So, no, I know. Yeah. Whoa. I know you are. Yeah. Whoa. We know how this goes. Watch out now. Uh, so, uh, oh, thank you. Uh, uh, hello, Goblin. Can I approach you or will the rats eat me? No, no. The rats are looking for cheese. If you don't have cheese, if you have any cheese, throw it immediately mm, away. You've got cheese. Hey, man, where's the cheese? Yeah. yeah. Uh, did you search them? Yeah, we're, we're ferreting through all their clothes and flesh right now. It's just like dead human. Oh. Did you fucking lie to the rat? <laughs> I, I got bad intel. I'm sorry. It was a bad tip. If they're pissed, uh, I'll shoot them. Yeah. Look, dude, if the cops ask, we do not know you. Oh, no. no, like, no. We, we had no part of this. No, no. I, you, you're, do you have cheese? I do not have cheese. I have cheese. You do have cheese? Well, I keep it in between the plates of my mail. Yeah. The, yeah. I mean, we have standards. Well, you have standards. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the important <laughs> Look, thing. Look, rats talk, buddy. Yeah. Okay. I would. I like have to... some whey bread. Would you like that? I mean, yes. Okay. But at best, that gets you like we we don't we don't tell anybody. Listen, about this. it says I, in my I, starting equipment. I will equipment, throw some of my whey bread at them. No, nope. it says in my starting equipment. I have a few pouches of exotic and weird components. I happen to have in the exotic component pouch French cheese that I would like to give to the rats as a token of my appreciation. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just okay. one small piece, and I'll let them fight amongst themselves. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. They, they won't tell on you. You could talk to a rat again. I think this is going to matter. You're not dead to rat society. You guys are looking I at me. I was offering whey bread. All right. 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 Yeah. Anyways. Because yeah, uh, that's hello. what rats want. Hey. Uh, hello, Goblin. Yeah, talking what, what is your name? Uh, I'm Fast Eddie. Fast Eddie. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I am producer elf name. I used to be a goblin. Uh, then I transferred, but, you know. Right. I'm Lazy Ass Knight. What was going on here? That's a weird name. Right. Tell me, Fast Eddie, what happened here? Look, I mean, I borrowed a little bit of money from these fellas, and they just, it's, it, I was gonna pay back to them full, full, you know, threefold, even, maybe even fourfold, but uh, they just, they weren't up to the task mm-hmm. that I needed them to perform, and they, they, they misrepresented themselves, and they just, uh, they seemed like scam artists. Would you say they were not being Fast eddie <laughs> you should go to fate. Uh, awesome point for that. All right. Awesome point. Oh, Nailed okay. it. <laughs> Sound effect. Uh, <laughs> Giving him awesome points for puns is going to make this a quick <laughs> game. Awesome game. <laughs> uh, well, maybe just one pun per game. Look, I mean, I know I shouldn't have gone to uh, Backstabber's Row to look for event organizers, but they they said they could do it, and, and then they just didn't come through. I have this great idea. Yeah. And I just, I just, I need someone like yourselves, uh, you know, fastidious people, uh, uh, as you say, uh, to to sort of execute it. What, 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 what is it? I mean, well, I mean, cool. shall we, looking, shall is, we, is, re- this a, is this a quest? Shall we retire to oh. a, uh, a pub as uh, is necessary for the, our what, language's what, grammar to deliver quests? What, what kind of pub? Uh, I I don't know what what pub do you like in the city of bureaucratrics? Uh I was I was thinking of a gastro pub maybe. Uh, oh, I could go for a burger with some Stilton on it. Yeah. So yes. you go to the gastro pub, which Thank is inside God. a retired dragon. Who, All that you actually literally crawl hungry. into his intestinal system. His mouth is open, but you know he doesn't move very much, and he's he's gotten very dry. He's quite old, <laughs> uh, but you know he's got good waterworks. You know you can get stuff. So you're inside the belly of a dragon. That is also a pub. It is. A gastro pub. Um, uh, <laughs> you should get an awesome boy. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Fast Eddie says, "Oh, I'm I'm glad you can hear this. So you seem like educated uh, young gentleman. Yes, I can't correct. see you through for all the spikes. Never going to change. All right, all mm-hmm. right. Well, okay, you don't right. you identify as spiky. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Fair mm-hmm. enough. Look, I've got a line on. Uh, y- you know, you know what's all the rage right now? I don't. Academic conferences." <sighs> I was going to say podcast about crime, but right. you know, right. you've got Rogue Nation, mm-hmm. uh, where all the rogues guilds get together. Yeah. You've got Magic Con, Alchemicist. Uh, mm. It's uh, Dragon Con, where all the dragons get together. I gave a girl uh, it's kiss they time. they uh, they have all sorts of. Uh, you know, and that's not even counting the the secret acronym orders uh, right. all together. It's it's really a time for academic con- people. You know, a renaissance of sorts. That sounds great. Uh, and uh, the the problem is that no one has uh, capitalized on the greatest speaker and uh, philosophical mind to enter our age, Kenneth Bark, the great speaker of the forest. 
Yes. Uh, in but he's hard to get. No one, no one's tried to get him. But mm-hmm. I, I think I have a way. I got a plan. Mm-hmm. But I need some brave young adventurers mm-hmm. to help me organize this and take sixty percent of the door yep. plus hotel fees. Uh, and and the reason is because I have a great location. Uh, the Forgotten Realm of the Ruined Gods. Now, I know that you have to do the forbidden ritual to open the portal to go there, and that one in a hundred that enter will be obliterated from time and existence through passing through the portal. But it's really a matter of booking. If we get Kenneth Bark, everyone's going to the Play of, of Torment, and, you know, it's really cheap conventions, Pate. We'll make a killing. Uh, question on that that whole one in a hundred being obliterated when they enter. Is that like the first one gets obliterated, the 99 get to go through, or is it randomized? Oh, it's completely random. That's okay. the key that'll get uh, you buying tickets. Uh, yep, I yep. mean, have you ever tried to get convention space at Rogue Nation or like get a hotel room? Yep. Yeah. Impossible. Yep, uh, that's like they're, I mean, also, it doesn't help that they're all rogues. So literally murdering and stealing each other for the entire four day convention. Yeah. But if we get this organized, we can get the tree spirit and uh, druidic uh, academic conferences underrepresented in the field. Amen. And we'll we'll get people from all over the place. But it's problematic in terms it, of how it, it's it done. It sounds like a lot of work. I need a sidebar with Professor Elf name. Okay. No, producer Elf name. Yeah, producer. All right. So, and I don't I don't want to get too deep here, but nothing has been more meaningful to my life than the writings of Kenneth Bark. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? I didn't know you were a fan. It it is a little known fact about me. Three things have changed my life. One, yeah. fringe. Yeah. Two, Taco Bell. <laughs> Three, the writings of Kenneth Bart. <laughs> you use the Taco Bell? Yeah. The bell that summons tacos? <laughs> Regularly. Oh wow. I, I thought it was lost. What I'm seeing here is yeah. an opportunity to incorporate two, if not all three of those things into kind of one magical, mm-hmm. momentous occasion. Mm-hmm. I can't not do this. Uh, you know what else? I, it sounds like a lot of work, and if you pull this off, who's going to call you lazy? Who who would call me lazy after doing all of this? Okay. I'm going to do this, and and I mean that I want to extend this sincerely to you. I can't, I can't do that rat shit on my own. No. I'm going to need your help. I, I can talk to more than just rats, too. I talk a talk, big game, I, producer I, 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 name. I, big game, yeah. That's the thing I can talk to. Okay. I can talk to okay. big game. I, okay. I you, can talk to little I game. Think, I, I think can talk to medium game. Awesome point uh, for having, yes. Okay. Yes. Fair great. Enough. Awesome points, or just making it rain awesome point. Yeah. Awesome point on awesome point. Uh, so, yeah, no, I'm happy. I think this will be enough to get my degree. Uh, so I'm going to be a full. I would think that you should be able to apply for, uh, apply for some like uh, independent hours. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah definitely. For this kind of definitely. stuff. Independent study. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I only see up, upside here. Having said that, I don't. The whole being obliterated one in hundred chance. Like this. Mm, willing to roll the dice on that. I don't. <laughs> I don't trust the goblin. Uh, well, you don't trust a guy named Fast Eddie. Eh, like me. We met him in Backstabbers Alley. Six out of ten. <laughs> right. That, that that I feel like that's a really I like it's an ironic nickname. Like you know? looking back on things, I kind of wish I wouldn't have zapped both those guys, but maybe I could have asked some questions. Yeah. But we are where we are. He's learning so fast. <laughs> you know, I think... Don't kill everyone with the intel. Um, it's like the first lesson. But we could probably ask the rats. You know, well, I don't think the rats are going to know anything. Well, yeah, but I feel like I, news spreads I, quickly. Yeah, no. You know what we could do? What? We get one of their corpses. We get some worms. We put the worms in the guy's brain. The worms eat the brains, and then I can ask the worms if they know anything about... Is this the thing? Uh, you I, with me? I assume so. I, 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 this is a theory. This is a hypothesis. See, this is the, what we call the scientific method. I don't know if you've gone to college like that. No, uh, lazy, but, you know, or yeah. Right. All right. You, you guys good. Um, oh, sorry. We're getting sidetracked. Uh, yeah, do you have any references? Uh, great. Question. I've got goblin references. Ooh. Ooh. I'm not trying to be rude. <laughs> What's wrong with goblin references? <laughs> well, what kind of goblins? Like what? What? Which? Which? Stalwart goblins. The stalwart goblins. Let me ask uh. you this question. Do you have any of the? What's your favorite Kenneth Bark writing? Oh, it's the it's really the Treaties of a Thousand Years, uh, where he talks about the contextual forest and why it is lost. Because, you know, it's not actually a forest and it's really just a forest in terms of performative rhetoric uh, based on the context you're at. Uh, I, I was really a big fan. All right. One more sidebar. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's possible that he Googled that. 
but there was a level of nuance and depth there. Yeah. <laughs> Which suggests some genuine... God sidebar. Some, Is it possible he Googled that? <laughs> yeah. Which suggests some genuine understanding. Well, I we mean... We might be on to something. As we all know, Googling is a divination ritual where we ask the know-it-all God right. named Google Conicus. Right. Uh, right. And Producer elf name, earning his keep. Yeah. yeah. Saving your ass. Right. <laughs> right. But, I mean, you know, Google Conicus, you know, his. Right. Uh, 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 It'll accuracy. give you the what, but it won't give you the why. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of those pages come up talking about, you know, things denying the last Dragon War, you know, stuff re- really weird. I feel, I feel good. I feel good enough about it. Okay. All right. I, I'll t- I, I trust you, ladies. In yeah. sidebar. Yeah. We're in. All right. Great. Uh, well, as I'm a learned person, allow me to switch into the tense for delivering questions. Please. Uh, and quests. So, uh, you must lay down the Crittercon gauntlet in order to entertain well, the knowing words of Kenneth Bark. You oh, must right. first obtain the bird of Swiss's flight from the Lady Hawks of Mount Fresca. Oh. Then you must learn the mysteries of the Booking Worm from the Forsaken Library of Bureaucratrix. Consult the dreaded con oracles of the Forbidden Desert Cave of Strategic Planning and Market Research. Nice. Fulfill the insurmountable rider pact of the Forest Guardian and draft a contract of unimpeachable appearance with the law lords of the Golden Capital. Oh, and tough. finally, you must venture to the lost contextual forest and seek audience with the Kenneth Bark. I feel we can knock this out in like a weekend. I feel I feel pretty good about this. Yeah. I'm a little bit worried about the strategic planning and market research. Yeah. I've seen that slow down. Um, should we summon uh, the god of transportation, Uber Conicus? We will. We I, so just personal thing, yeah. have not been impressed with some of his politics. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, yeah. but I have been struck by the benevolence of Lifticus. Yeah, okay. And I would prefer, <laughs> I'm open, I would prefer, even at a higher rate... That we use Lifticus. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I'm I'm a, I'm a polytheist. Lifticus the good, as yeah. they yeah. call it. Yeah, I'm not a monotheist. I'm, right. a, I'm a polytheist. Lifticus I, I, the I, non-racist. I, yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, well, it's all classes out here. Yeah. It seems to me. It seems to me like we're we're ready to do this. Um, you know, I, I I do. I've always wanted to see Mount Fresca. I'll be honest. I, I've wanted. To, I've thought about touring there. I I've all I've always wanted to do a lot. Well, I, not always, obviously, given my lazy moniker. But I'm I'm in for this now. I, you know, I have some questions. Just to be completely honest with you, question number one: Do you have any goods or items that you think might help us on the way that you could give us before we venture? Uh, not really. Cool. Great. I, I sort of my retirement score. I'm looking to get big and get out of the yeah, academic so, conference game. Right. So what are you putting into this other right, than, right. you know, the intel? I got the you're plan. Taking, you're taking okay. 40% of the door, though, right? Uh, Yeah. Right. So literally, you're just telling us what to do, and then you're kind of reaping the rewards. But well, you're that. getting 60% of the right, door. Right. No, no, no. Don't change the subject. I, I mean, I get, I get how this works. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, we're in, I mean, it's... I mean, is, I, I gave you that. I, I didn't go 50-50 because, right. you know, on account of saving my life. And that's everything. right. And, well, and you did use a different voice. So, you yeah, know, I would. Yeah, yeah why well, I have to be, well, present it in Quest Grammar. Rewarded. Everyone yeah, knows that, about that. Quest Grammar. The learned folk do. Yeah, those regulations are pretty. Second strict. question. If we complete this quest, do you have anything which would guarantee us to not be one of the one in 100 to perish upon entrance into Yeah, can we order the odds realm? on that? You could not attend CritterCon. Because well, they have to pay to get into the... That I would do all that work and not attend. Well, I mean, it is in the dread plane. What I'm hearing from you is no. Yeah. No, I, right. I mean... Yeah. I'm not magical. What? Well, well. Is it totally... <laughs> is there any way we could just just change the order around? Like, if I could talk a bunch of rats to go through, and if one of them gets zapped, I go in right in after that rat, and then the odds are pretty good that yeah. I'm not. I mean, yeah, yeah, if you found a way to communicate with rats. I, yeah. I, I really think you're getting ahead of the game, because like, it's a complex plan. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I mean, I'm, I, are you ready I, for the first part of the plan? I, look, I'm ready. I'm just yeah. trying to make sure that we're not missing anything before we go gallivanting. Oh, so, look, all of the lore indicates that you can only ask Kenneth Bark once to attend a conference, as he did in the Druidic summoning 
of the late Forgotten Age. I'd forgotten about that. Uh, and he, uh, he has not, not very he has not appeared at an academic conference since. Right. Um, and has adamantly refused many others, and they've not asked again. So right. you only get one shot. So the key is making sure our one shot is the best. I got this. So in order to do that, we, we have to uh, do what uh, has been done by in ages past by the legendary con bookers of old, which was uh, seek consultancy and prophecy from the booking worm, uh, who, which of course is located right from the dreaded Cron oracles of the Forbidden Desert of Strategic Planning and Market Research. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> of course he is. <laughs> but the problem with that is, is that uh, I, I hear there's a, a sort of limited access to that, and and Kenneth Bark is nowhere near a desert because he is made of tree. Right. So what we need is something that conveys messages to him, so that we can quickly get our pitch to Kenneth Bark once we learn the way to say it in a way that will make him say yes. Man. Uh, and for that, we need the bird of swiftest flight. Yeah. As you know, uh, the fastest carrier birds are of from the lady cocks of Mount Fresca. So yep. that's really your first task. Right. We got to go. Yeah. <laughs> I've always wanted to go to Mount Fresca. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. We accept. We're yeah. on our way. So. All right. It's good to meet you. And we're good with 6040. You're, you're fine with that. Uh, wait. Can we swear like maybe a blood loyalty oath that you're not going to betray us in some way? I mean, sh- sure. Okay. You know, mm, I didn't love that. <laughs> sign a contract. That made me feel a little uneasy. I mean, we can sign a contract, but yeah. I mean, then okay. you have to go to the Golden Capital, and like, you're going to have to go there anyway. You're just making extra trips for yourself. Well, okay. Well, we can wait, hold off on signing the contract until we get to the Golden Capital. But when we go to the Golden Capital, you go with us, and we can sign that while we're there. I mean, I'm fine with that. Are you judging me? Oh, wait, are you judging me because my name is Fast Eddie? Uh, yes. Wait, are you? I, no, this is good business practice. Do you like being judged? Are you are you lazy? Uh, are you are you a producer? My name is Lazy Ass I tonight. I produce so those judged all the time. Yeah, right. I'm, I know. I, do you enjoy it? Do it's you find medium. like yeah, that seems that seems far fetched? Listen, we're in. <laughs> this okay? is just good business practice. That's right. That's right. You'll learn this in the land of strategic planning and market research. <laughs> but but until then, yeah. I won't go there. I'll die. None we'll of return. Bring you the 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 data, the deliverable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, product. we're 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 off. We're off. What, yeah. what, what's the first step? How, Mount how, Fresca. How, okay, how, how do we start the journey to Mount Fresca? Uh, you shall go through the, and that ends the education of Spencer <laughs> Harris. Oh, as man. they begin their journey Even to, I'm fucking excited. The Lady Hawks of Mount Fresca to find the bird, the bird of swiftest flight. Is it a bluebird that like uh, has little at symbols on? You shan't know until next week yeah, on geez. the education of Spencer Same. Harris. Same. Batman time. Oh, My yeah. goodness. So uh, that is going to be uh, the the basic premise of the Education of Harris. Thoughts as we as we end this snippet of adventure. Uh, yeah. Thought one. Uh, when you said Kenneth Bark, which was the most exciting thing to me, <laughs> I thought you were talking about a dog, not a tree. So that was jarring. Okay, just something. I was like, oh my god, not aiming at that. Because you're talking about how difficult it is to get him out of retirement. I was like, take him a fucking bone. No, he's literally a tree. Come to find out, he's he rooted. Move, so to speak. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I still got some thoughts on that because I know about that dude. Uh, thought number two is that I feel like maybe, and I'm not super introspective, I shouldn't have killed both those guys so quickly. (laughs) That was a bit surprising. But, like, I'll work on that for next time. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I really want people to know I'm not that lazy. (laughs) Hello. So, if you want more of this, uh, please let us know in the comments as we will continue the adventures of Lazy Ass Night and producer Elf Name. Right. uh, As they go to Mount Fresca. And we will just, we're, we're no transitions on this one. We're just going to hit it. We're just going to get there in Mount Fresca. We're going to get going. We're rolling. And Adventures with the Lady Hawks. That's right. So, uh, this has been the Mixed Six, kind of? Ish. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. It's been Mixed Six folks doing yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. I'll give it that much. Uh, <laughs> Listen, if you stuck around for it, awesome. Yes. Yeah. Uh, awesome I'm Caleb. Point. I'm Spencer. That's producer Elf Name. Yeah. And uh, thank you very much for listening. We'll see you next time.